Okay, so we're going to do the uh, reverse on the right hand side of the road now. So what we're going to do, we're going to be driving down the road, okay, and then we're going to pull over onto the other side of the road, and then we're going to try and find a reference point for ourselves, because the examiners will say we're going to pull over onto the other side of the road, parking up relatively close to a curb. Now, what we've got to remember is this is not a parking exercise, okay, so you don't need to be six to twelve, uh, six inches away from the curb. We can be up to six to twelve inches away from the curb. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull over uh, in line with the curb, and then what we've got to do then, we've got to pull forward a little bit. Uh, because we've got to get the back end in because if you just pull over to the other side of the road and stop there your back end is going to be sticking out so once we get our reference point in line with the curb we're then going to pull forward so it'll drag the back end in okay so we're going to do that now so obviously we're in first we're going to let the the person who's walking the dog get past okay and then obviously we're going to get our biting point Okay, and then obviously we're going to do all our observations, making sure it's nice and safe to move away. Okay, the pedestrian's off with his dog. And then what we're going to do, we're going to move away. Okay, and then steer across the other side of the road. And as I said, we're going to get our reference point by the curb. And then we're going to straighten up and get nice and parallel with the curb. Okay, and then if a good reference point that as well is if you look down the side door mirror, you should be able to see that we're nice and straight and nice and parallel with the curb and then we secure the car okay so handbrake on into neutral and then straight into reverse so everyone knows if they're coming up from behind what we're going to do and then we do our six point observation check now this time because we're in reverse we start from our right blind spot all the way through so mirrors in front right uh, center mirror left mirror and then we're going to do a left blind spot check make sure there's nothing coming Okay, if there's nothing coming, so then what we're going to do, we're going to reverse the car in a straight line. Now, it's always best to keep your, your hands nice and tight on the steering wheel so we don't move. Because if sometimes if you look over your left shoulder, you might be able to, you might move the steering wheel. So keep a good uh, tight grip on the, uh, on the steering wheel. Okay, and then we're going to reverse nice and slowly, looking out the back window because that's the direction in which what we're going to go. Okay, and then we're going to keep going nice and slow, good clutch control. And then once we've gone past two car lengths, which is what they'll ask you to do, we're going to stop the car. So we're going to use our foot brake and dip the clutch, handbrake on, and then into neutral. And then that is that manoeuvre. Then obviously they're going to ask you to move away then. So we're going to go into first. We're going to get our biting point. Then we're going to do all our observations, making sure it's nice and safe. And then we're going to pull away. Okay. And hey presto, that's your reverse on the other side of the road.